All right, so this is my interpretation of Jules by Anderson Pack. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what you wanna do is set your index finger down on the 12th fret of the first, second, and third string, all right? Then you're gonna take your ring finger and set it down on the 14th fret of the first string. Then you're gonna strum down, just focusing on the first, second, and third string. So you strum down, all right, and then you're gonna let your ring finger off and you're gonna strum up. But you're gonna do that pretty quickly. All right, now you add your middle finger here on the 14th fret of the third string and then you're gonna to have to put your ring finger back down again on that 14th fret of the high E. So your index finger is still back here barring, which is kind of weird. So you're gonna go again, down, up. So you got, all right, is that making sense? Now, if you can't get that, you could probably get by with just playing this twice. Just play that twice, okay? You don't have to do the walk up note. It's hard to play slow for some reason. You really gotta get in there. All right, so um, the, next, the next note we've got, the next chord, I mean, is um, index finger bars across the first and second uh, string on the 10th fret. Middle finger sets down on the uh, 11th fret, third string. And then your ring finger sets down here on the 12th fret of the uh, first string. Then you're just gonna strum that. So you've got So I guess you don't really need to bar here on that first and second string. You could just press uh, just the, the B string down on the 10th fret there. All right. So we've got. Okay. Then we're going to go down to 7th fret. Bar across first, second, and third string with your index finger. So down, up, strum. Then we're gonna go back to that position we were in. You do need to bar this time though. So you bar uh, first and second string on the uh, 10th fret and then set down middle finger, uh, 11th fret of the third string. And that kind of sets you up to start the riff over again. So looking at it one more time, we got So the second time through, you play kind of like a little bit modified uh, version of the riff. So you're starting same same place, 12th fret, barring across the first, second, and third string. Um, but this time, you're gonna strum. You're gonna strum down, then set your ring finger down on the 14th fret, then strum up. All right. So, you know, when you were starting the song, it was the melody was going from high to low. Now it's going from low to high. All right, but then instead of doing that weird walk up chord, you're gonna just jump back down to the uh, 10th position chord, uh, index finger bars, uh, 10th fret of the first and second string, middle finger, 11th fret of the third string. And then on this one, I, I can't decide if I like strumming down up or just one down strum. It sounds like in the recording, it's more just like one down strum here, but sometimes I like doing a down up there. But you got a, a down strum, then you add your ring finger again on that 12th fret of the um, first string. All right, so you've got And that's pretty much it. So those, there's just that two, that sequence of two riffs. Um, so you've got the. And then it'll repeat. And sometimes it goes 
back to that before starting over again. So there's a couple of little like um, uh, nuances that you can try to figure out um, if you want to really dial it in. But I think that's pretty much a, a good start for this one. So go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next video.